It is a grim anniversary for Kelloland family with no closure. Sioux Falls realtor Melissa Pesky was shot and killed while driving on Interstate 70 through Missouri on December 13th last year. Her two children who were in the car came away with barely a scratch. Tonight, Angela Kennedy reports while no one has been arrested in her death, the Pesky case hasn't gone cold. Our Kevil That News investigation first broke the story of Melissa Pesky being shot on her cross country trip with her children a year ago Friday. Today, Missouri investigators tell me over the last 12 months, they have followed up on 185 leads. Eight of those leads are still being actively investigated. The latest tip on Pesky's killing came in over the last month. Melissa Pesky's sister, Kara and Jessica Rankin, had heart-to-heart -heart conversations with her before she left Sioux Falls on December 13th, 2018. The last conversation we had, it was very, it, we, it was very intense and, and it really gave me reason. I was, I was scared for her and it just kind of really, it really made me think. And then when this happened, it really, really made me think. The sisters and their mother helped Melissa pack up her car and two children. Pesky was heading to South Carolina, but her family says it was not for a vacation that she was leaving her husband, Ryan. Kara was on the phone with Melissa while she drove down Interstate 70 by Boonville, Missouri. Melissa told her it was raining, a semi was in the ditch, and another car was swerving all over the road. And then she said, just a minute, honey, I'm going to put the phone down and so that way she could get around the car. And then we started talking again, and it wasn't two, three minutes later, and she stopped talking. The Missouri State Patrol says there is no evidence that connects the Pesky case to any other shootings in the area. One of Melissa's friends came forward to Kelloban Investigates earlier this year, asking that her identity be hidden because Melissa told her she was afraid for her life. And it was during that conversation that she said, what is making me come forward today? And that is, if anything ever happens to me, you have to promise me that you will let the police know that Ryan did this. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, he has threatened to shoot me or kill me. And if anything ever happens, well, you have to promise me. So I said, okay, I will. Ryan Pesky initially told me a year ago that he was told he was a person of interest by investigators. He said that was because he didn't pick up the phone at 11 that night when authorities called following her murder. Pesky says he was sleeping and did pick up a few hours later. I reached Ryan Pesky by phone this week, but he said he had nothing to tell me regarding his wife's case. Melissa's family has started a GoFundMe page to raise reward money for a crack in the case. Missouri investigators won't give me any details, but did tell me they have issued 50 search warrants and six subpoenas and are awaiting information from recent warrants that have been served. Thanks, Angela.